right, welcome back to Living Clean. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I bucket wheat using um, dry ice. And I have another video where I kind of go into more detail, but I wanted to just show you the, just the two different ways you can use dry ice in this method. So, first of all, what you're gonna need is a clean bucket. Um, I like to get food grade buckets. Um, if I'm using, if I'm bucketing wheat or doing something I wanna do long term, I do get new buckets. You can get them used. You can buy some um, for maybe a dollar or, I don't know, sometimes they're free from different grocery stores and the, the bakery section, but I prefer to keep my, um, my wheat and my grains in new buckets. That way I know they're not gonna taste like pickles or icing or whatever was in them before. Um, Cause you have to do a really thorough cleaning job. But I do go ahead and clean these. I clean this with my Thieves cleaner, rinse them out. Um, Cause there's often dust and gross stuff in there. So I have a clean bucket. I have a clean red lid ready to go. I have my dry ice right over here. And um, I'm just gonna show you how you do it, including um, the burping process of getting the gas out of there. So I have my wheat right here. I'm gonna do hard red wheat in here. Oh, so there's two different ways. And I showed in another video how you can use the paper plates. You put a little bit of dry ice in the bottom, put a paper plate on top of that, and then put a little dry ice on the top. So you cover it with, it's like this. You cover, put it underneath the bottom, you pour in your grain and you put this on the very top, put a little dry ice on top of there. But I wanna show you an even simpler method, which I've been doing for a while and it seems to work fine. The concern is the dry ice may burn some of your, whatever it touches. So it may burn some of your wheat berries. Um, however, if that's the case, the, 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 if it does burn something, it's gonna be so little. It, for me, it's not a huge deal. So what I like to do is have my, this is hard red wheat that I get from Azure Standard. So this, got my bucket right here. I pour in a few inches, just a few inches. And then I'm gonna grab my get a piece. Always use tongs. You do not want to touch this with your hands. If it's too big of a piece, then you can use your rubber mallet. There are, are some big pieces in here. Use rubber mallet and whack it and break it. But don't ever touch it. So I'm just going to stick this in here and I'm going to kind of put it inside and it'll be covered. It's not completely on the bottom and I'm going to cover it with the rest of my room. So as you can see, there's only going to be a a certain number of grains touching this the dry ice. 25 pounds fits really nicely into a five gallon bucket. Sometimes you can fit more, especially if you go like that, you can get it down a bit more. But I only had 25 pounds and I didn't want to mix this with anything else. So what I want to do is I just add even maybe a smaller piece to the top. Grab something smaller with your tongs. Find something. Stuck in there. There we go. So add a couple little smaller pieces. Put those in on the top. Over this up. Make that cool. Okay. Get your lid that's already been cleaned and dried. And then we're going to. hammer it down. Now I've got a couple other here buckets over here that I've already done and you're going to see um, what I mean by, by the burping process. So if you can tell this lid, let me put it up here, it's hard to see, but it is doming. There you go. Now you can see it. It is doming up and that means there's gas in there from the um, dry ice. It's pushing, the gas is pushing the oxygen out. And so that's a good thing. You don't want the oxygen in, but what you're gonna need to do is come over and you put your knee on top and just You'll hear that hissing sound. So you'll need to do that several times. Don't put too much dry ice in here. Otherwise you're gonna be doing that all night long. You do not want this to explode, to build up so much pressure that <laughs> the lid flies off. 
Got another one here. This one, as you can let's see if you can see this one. Two. Again, it's domed on top. So the easiest way I find to do it is just to put my knee up here. Let it out. And this is not completely sealed here now, which is good. And I usually go back to that same spot every time, um, every time I burp it. I'm getting letting the gas out of here. Now, one thing important to do that I've already done on these is I've already labeled them. So I've taken the label that came from the bag and I've cut it or just ripped it off and taped it on here along with, because these bags come with um, the nutritional facts and also how to cook them. So even if someone came across this, this is some millet and they weren't sure what to do with it, or my husband came across it, he could read, oh, okay, this is how you cook it, and he would know. So it's really great to have all that stuff right on the container, ready to go when you need it, when you pull it out, because maybe you've forgotten by the time you get to this. But that is my method for dry ice. Honestly, I don't even do the paper plates most of the time. I just stick the dry ice right in. It's super easy, and it's, even, it's just faster for me. So... For me, the loss of a few grains of wheat that might be burnt is not that big of a deal for me. So that's what I do. I will be, it may take up to an hour, honestly, of coming back, you know, every 10 minutes, just giving them a little, you can see it's already starting to dome up here again. Um, just letting out that, um, that air, and then it will be sealed really nicely. So I, once it's no longer cold on the bottom, it's pretty cold down here. Once it's no longer cold, or it stops doming up so much that you can't press on it. Like, this is pretty hard already. Like, I could press, I, it's, I can press on it, but I've had them sometimes when they dome up so hard you can't press on them. You know you gotta get that out. Um, but once that kind of goes down and subsides, then it's gonna be fine. Totally tap it down again all the way around. Make sure it's completely sealed, and you're gonna be good to go. And this will last you for years to come. So I hope that answered any questions and just gave you a quick look on using dry ice in your buckets and I will see you next time.